there is something that I need to put to bed. A lot of you guys are like, this one has 10,000 RPMs and this one only has 7,000 RPMs. So this one must be much stronger, right? Wrong. RPMs or strokes per minute is not necessarily an indication of how strong that motor is. Clippers, trimmers, shavers. Torque is the number that you're looking for. That's an indication of how strong that particular unit is. So when you're looking at these gamma boosted trimmers, these have a super torque rotary motor that actually has a lot of torque and runs at 8,000 RPMs. And yes, they actually are the strongest rotary motor that we have in Stylecraft or Gamma currently. Now, obviously they're not as strong as the Instincts. The Vector motor is a whole different story. But in terms of rotary motors and the amount of torque that this has, hopefully you guys understand that. If you do, drop a comment down below. So today we're gonna be getting into this. Is it good? Is it bad? Where does it fit in? And you know, is it for you? And I do appreciate you guys so much for following me on Uptown Barbershop Naples. There's one quick thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. I never intended for so much of my YouTube to spill into my Instagram at Uptown Barbershop Naples. That was my shop page. And you know, it's, it's kind of exploded with a lot of inquiries and questions about YouTube. So going forward, I've actually created a whole separate Instagram account, YouTube Barber Academy at Instagram. And if you guys would follow me over there, I would really appreciate it. I'm gonna try to start to move some of this stuff over there. And uh, you guys are definitely gonna see a whole nother side of me. Might be political, might be crazy, whatever. But to further incentivize you guys to heading over there, I'm actually going to be giving away a Gamma Boosted Trimmer right on that Instagram account. And I will announce my winner on that Instagram account. And all you really need to do is follow me over there. Right now I got a bunch of followers starting to come in and I'm gonna check that out and I'm gonna pick one of you guys and I'm gonna give it away. Also we'll be doing some key channel updates and all kinds of stuff over there as well. So today you'll notice I got a gold color scheme going. But what I'd like to talk with you guys today about is the boosted trimmer. Now I didn't really rush this review. I've been using it for several weeks and there's a lot of things that I like about this and I'm gonna break it down. So I'll give you the specs, I'll show you a bunch of examples. When it comes to the boosted trimmer, should you buy it? Now the funny thing about these four units that I showed you that are gold is the color is actually not the thing that makes them special. You see right here, we have the skin clipper. All this is designed to do is remove bulk and take some of the wear and tear off of some of my other tools. So I love that machine. Then I have my other boosted clipper with a taper blade, which I've told you guys gives you many, many advantages. And now I have my Ergo with our new diamond cut blade. And what this does is this straightens out curly hair. And honestly, this just makes fading super easy on pretty much all types of hair. Following through with the theme, we got our gold boosted lid on here. Now, one thing that is completely different about this trimmer is its shape. It's got this nice wide flat spot here. And if you actually lift up, I'll pull this off. The other barber can't even put this on. Uh, personally, I don't really need this grip on here at all because of the nice little area for your thumb. Now, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's not gonna make a difference because they didn't, they didn't make it so small that it's not comfortable. So what I like about having this big wide area is on them days where I'm not feeling super steady, I can grab both edges of the trimmer and I can be super, super accurate. So another thing I really like about the boosted trimmer is this little zero gapping tool. If you notice on one side, it says soft and the other side, it says aggressive. Now, I've actually used a lot of zero gapping tools throughout my life. And I would say this is probably one of the coolest ones. And the fact that you can do it both ways with one single tool and it comes with the boosted trimmer. It also comes with the cyborg and there's a few others. I'm not exactly hundred percent sure on all of them, but uh, this has this little rubber band in it. You literally set the blade in there and it couldn't be any easier for you to zero gap. Quickly, I'll break down the specs. You have 8,000 RPMs, two hours of runtime, a black X pro, blade with the one blade cutter, which cuts phenomenal. It's USB-C charging, it comes with a stand. Obviously you get the body kits. And there's also something really weird that I've actually, don't think I've ever seen before, but they actually have a removable hook. So this hook actually just plugs right into the bottom and then you can screw 
one of the little screws in there. If you do the removable hook, you're going to find that you're not gonna be able to put it on the charging stand anymore. So if you charge it with USB-C, you're fine. I really don't know who's hanging um, trimmers. I personally wouldn't do it. And like we talked about, it comes with the zero gap tool, a couple of extra screws, screwdriver, and a brush in the box. So one thing I was a little bit curious about was how does it stand up in noise and weight to some of the other trimmers. So let's check that out. What do you think about that? I think that's a 8,000. It does feel like it does have a little bit more power, but you know what I'm curious to see is, let's put it up against the Flex. Let's do the sound test against the Flex. Sound test with the Flex. We're, you know, super torque rotary motor. We're trying to see which, you know, sounds stronger, is a little bit louder, quieter between the Flex and the new Boosted. Seventy-four. The new boosted. You know what's funny is years ago I would have had to just walk over to any station and grab a gold FX off it. Currently, the only person with a gold FX in here is Johan. But what I wanted to show you guys is this: if I got like this round body, like. When I go to steady myself out, I'm not getting a good grip because I'm off at a round edge. I don't really have like a nice flat spot to grab onto. And that's what's kind of fun about using this. Like even when I only use it with one hand, I sometimes find myself gravitating towards just pinching it on the sides. So I really can't say enough good about the ergonomics of the body. Now on the other, other side of this, this is a very light trimmer, which might be good for some people, but it might not be good for others. Like if your hands are shaky, if you find yourself sort of unsteady, if you have trouble making accurate lines, you actually might prefer a heavier trimmer, which is why I would recommend maybe the Cyborg for you. I really don't see any downside to using the Cyborg. However, it is definitely more expensive than the Boosted, and the Boosted comes in at two hours of runtime. It's about $150. You guys can use my code, Eddie. You can save 15% off, and sometimes they're running discounts on these, so you guys wanna check that website repeatedly, and I got the link down below. All in all, right out the box, this thing was a hitter. Now, another feature that I know a lot of you guys are gonna like is the on-off switch. The on-off switch actually has a clipper switch. So you'll notice it's a lot of fun to turn on. Your hands will just gravitate towards it. And it's, it's actually exactly the same as your boosted clipper. So, you know, you turn it on and off the exact same way and there's just something nice about having that switch on the side. Can't really describe it, but I, I do enjoy having that analog clicking switch when I turn it on. So two hours of runtime is very typical for the rest of the industry. You'll notice that like a lot of Babyliss trimmers, a lot of other trimmer brands, two hours of runtime is about the best they can do. And this one has two hours of runtime, which is actually the lower end of Gamma and Stylecraft. Many of the trimmers for Gamma and Stylecraft have three, four hours of runtime. So the reason why this has a little bit less runtime is because it has an 8,000 RPM super torque rotary motor, which technically makes this the highest torque that we have outside of the Instinct trimmer. So it's just pretty much gonna be the highest performing bulk removing tool you're going to find at that lower price point. So if you guys are interested in purchasing the boosted trimmer. You guys can check a link down below. You guys can grab them. They're going out of stock fast. We sold a ton of these at Chicago ABS and we have CT coming next week. So I hope to see you guys all at CT Barber Expo. Feel free to stop by the booth, ask me some questions, come over and kick it with me. I'm going to have stage time. I'm going to have a class and I really hope to see y'all there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you figured out if this is for you or not or whatever you want to do. Uh, but going forward, we're actually going to launch a short here. Okay, so Babyliss claims to have up to 2.5 hours of run times. So this is a black FX. Shout out to Williamsport Barber Supply, and you guys could use my code Eddie10 to save 10% with that company. However, they just sent me a couple of different things, and we're gonna do a pretty cool little short. So the first thing I'm gonna do is see if the runtime is true. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what the difference between having the black blade, the gold blade, or the blue blade does in terms of heat. So it's just gonna be a little short. You guys can check it out after this video if you'd like. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>